hello everyone we are again here today with the new employability skill now in last lecture we have done about communication skill today we will continue our topic with self management skill this is your second skill in employability skill now let's start so first of all we have the topic self management skill now self management skill it is the ability to control your emotions apni emotions ko control mein karna and work towards goals a skill that is important for all ages this skill is important for all the ages now you can also say ki this is the ability that allow people to control their thoughts feelings and actions now if you have strong management skill you are able to set your goals independently and take the initiative to achieve them now next thing is to follow this responsibility we are also having certain points to discuss if you want to follow this type of responsibilities now the first thing we have is stress stress kya now stress is defined as a pressure experienced by a person in response to life demands jab aapke paas bahut sara pressure hota hai kaam karne ke liye you get a certain type of stress right now you can also say the that the challenge that we face daily routine mein jo aap challenge face karte ho that become so big for us that our body and mind start feeling the heat of it now such a state can be called as stress now stress can be of two types positive stress or it can be negative stress we are just going to see some of the stress causal agents in the next slide so first causal agent is mental physical social and financial turn by turn we'll see these things now whenever you are having a lot of work to do in your class and you are not able to submit your assignment in time then what happens you get the mental type of stress and this mental type of stress can leave you with chronic anxiety and stress next type is the physical jab aap bade hote ho you just become conscious of your looks and you have to cope up with hormonal changes now issues related to general well being and health of an individual can lead to low self esteem and this can cause stress on your mind now next type is the social stress social stress mein it occurs from one's relationship with others and from the social environment in general theek hai general environment mein if you are not behaving properly with your family members or whenever you are having the peer pressure for doing the things maintaining balance in relationship among your friends or jab aap status show off karte ho these may lead to stress at times next topic is about financial now financial stress can cause feelings of fear worry or regret related to your finances when you are not having enough of money in your pocket then what happens you get mental type of stress so this mental type of stress can cause change in your behaviors like aap kya karte ho social occasions avoid karte ho idhar udhar baithna avoid karte ho now to overcome these all type of stress you have some stress management techniques now the first management technique is the physical exercise now physical exercise you can see in the picture there are many type of exercises i have shown now these exercises in the form of walking skipping or indulging in any sports can relieve your stress and it can give you a positive feeling 
come on the next technique next technique is a yoga at least you should spare 5 or 10 minutes daily for the yoga now yoga it is an ancient system of physical and mental practices that originated during the indus valley civilization in south asia now the fundamental purpose what is the fundamental purpose of this yoga it is to foster harmony in the body and environment now yoga doing yoga processes daily it gives you a complete physical mental social and spiritual type of development come on the next technique next technique is meditation now it is a practice when an individual is supposed to focus his or her mind on a particular object tab kisi ek cheez par aap dhyan dete ho thought or activity what do you get you get a calm mental state right and this reduces your stress now next technique is enjoying aap enjoy karte ho right so whenever you enjoy it, whenever you use make use of this technique your stress releases automatically right like enjoying aap kaise kar sakte ho you can play games you can uh, sing you can dance or you can do sketching whatever things you want you can do it in your free time and you can enjoy yourself now next technique is going on vacations with family and friends whenever you having the holidays you go on vacation with your family and friends now what is this vacation now is this vacation is usually a trip of journey for the purpose of recreation recreation ke liye aap ek trip lekar jaate ho bahar theek hai now this provides an opportunity to face the challenges that comes in life aap bahar nikalte ho logon ke bare mein aapko pata chalta hai different culture different type of environment you come to know so you face different types of challenges and faces of life now next technique is taking nature walk now walking through green spaces daily if you walk through green spaces what happens it gives you more energy and it improves your positive feelings also negative feelings mind mein nahi aati hai you get always positive feeling whenever you just take the fresh air now next thing is enhancing ability to work independently how will you work independently if you are self aware self motivated and self regulated you will be able to work independently now let's see the definition of self awareness self awareness means when you having conscious knowledge of yourself apne aap ke bare mein koi knowledge rakhna ya fir aap kaam karne ki you should have the capabilities feelings so that is called self awareness now it helps individuals to chart their ways for working independently aap independently kaam kar sakte ho if you are self aware of your things self motivation always you should have this feeling of self motivation uh, you should have the feeling ki that i can do it and i will do it whenever you'll have this inner urge to do something you will be able to achieve your goals without any external pressure next is the self regulation self regulation it reflects the ability to cheer yourself up after disappointments and to act in a way consistent with your deepest held values so this was all about today's topic i hope you'll follow all the rules and regulation and keep yourself motivated and ready to work even in critical situations also thank you and happy learning